Hello everybody, in this video, I am going to show you how to use the ATM strategy window to help you set up an auto break even as well as auto trail. To begin, the very first thing we are wanting to do is go to the top toolbar and make sure that chart trader is selected, which is the middle option. And once you do, the chart trader will appear to the right hand side of your chart. Once you've done this under ATM strategy, select the drop down box and then left click custom. Once you have selected this, you will have a window that appears that says custom strategy parameters. Order quantity will be the amount of contracts you wish to have this utilize. Time and force, you can select from the drop down box day, good sell cancel or good sell date. For this example, I will set it to good sell cancel. Parameter type is how everything will be measured as. You can select currency, percentage, price, ticks, or pips. For this example, I will select ticks. After that is done, you will see target one. This is where the individual sets the stop loss as well as the take profit for the initial part of the trade. So for example, let's say the individual wishes to have a maximum risk of 50 ticks. All one would have to do is enter in 50 into the stop loss box. If you would like to leave the take profit blank, you can do so by selecting zero. Or if you would like to set a determined take profit, you can do so something similar to 100 if you choose to use that variable. After that is selected from the stop strategy section, click the drop down box and select custom. From here, you will see a couple different fields, auto break even, as well as auto trail. The first step we will look at is auto break even. The first box underneath will be profit trigger. The box is defaulted to zero. What the profit trigger does is sets the amount of profit required to move the stop loss to the break even value. So basically if you put in 20 ticks, that means in order for the stop loss to move to the break even, the position that you are entered into has to move 20 ticks in the direction of the trade in the positive. Once that gets triggered, it'll move the stop loss up to the break even location. The next box will be plus. That is where you can set the amount added to the break even. So for example, if you set 10 into the plus field, that means if the market moves, 20 ticks in your favor, the stop loss will move to the break even point plus 10 ticks above. So essentially what that'll do is protect 10 ticks of profit. And if the market does decrease in value, then that'll stay and you'll still get your 10 ticks from the profit from the move. Below that, you will see auto trail. The initial is set to none. But when you go to auto trail, you'll also see one step, two step, and three step. So what I'm gonna do is select one step and you'll notice three boxes, stop loss, profit trigger, and frequency. So the first box we will tackle is stop loss. And what that does is sets the value of the stop loss order as an offset behind the profit trigger or frequency. So basically that sets the stop loss below where the trailing would be moving. Below that would be the profit trigger, which is basically what sets the amount of profit required to trigger the initial stop loss adjustment for the step. What that means is if I put in a number here for profit trigger, something like 30, that would mean that the market would have to move 30 ticks in my favor before the stop loss would be kicked in and trailed. So if I did 20 ticks, that would mean the market would have to move 30 ticks in my favor for the trailing to start 20 ticks below where the market price would be at, where the average price would be at. Frequency sets the value of how frequent the stop loss order is adjusted after the profit trigger. If I set it to one, that means for every tick it moves in my favor, it'll start the calculation. If I set it to something like five, that would require that the market would have to move five ticks in order for the trail 
to keep going. This is a useful feature if you wish to protect your profits and allow the market to breathe on its way up to the profit objective that you had set from the first window. If you like these settings, what you can do is save them for later usage by selecting the save as template and naming this to a custom trailing stop or whatever you choose. Select save and click OK. Once you have saved that template, you will see that listed right here under stop strategy. Select OK. And if you wish to place an entry, for example, if I wish to sell the market right now, I could do so. Click sell as a market order. And as you will see, I have my 50 tick initial stop loss and my 100 tick take profit. If this moves in my favor, what I defined in that break even as well as the auto trail, then it will move accordingly till it either hits the stop loss or the take profit.